Now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Inside give to Dickerson. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try to throw down. Young is going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Dickerson on the handoff. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Eric Dickerson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Dolphins go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. get there this time and they bring him down now that after the sack it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23 here's Carr his throw incomplete and this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort sack on first down followed by an incompletion one more good win, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw his car. And this is going to be incomplete. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they had the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you've evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. It's Carr. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs.
first down throw for Young. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. To throw again on second down, Young. This is caught, it's Crabtree. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Here's Eric Dickerson. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Eric Dickerson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Yeah, a slightly more difficult attempt here from the 20. And it's good to make it 14-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. set to get this drive started and they're in a bind early here down 14 nothing are you worried at this stage or still too early you're worried you're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team you want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time you're wondering how are we going to move the football what do we have on this play sheet that can work get back to basics is usually your answer and make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now, 637. Throwing on first down is Carr. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That thing blown up by the defensive effort of Chandler Jones. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. In motion, Hill. On second and 12, Young. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. 
If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now here's Young. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. In motion, Hill. Young on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the safety, D'Angelo Hall. And the Raiders force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far, so you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. What now? On first down, Carr got a man open. It's Darren Waller finding room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. To throw, it's Carr. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Hey, we're good, we're good. Hey, 734. To throw again on second down, Carr. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now Carr. Crabtree with it over the middle. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 29. 29. Now Carr again. This is brought in by Casper. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it 
in this third quarter of action. Now this, a very short kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And with the play clock at five, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Carr going to throw. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. He's at the 40. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. What a luxury to have a tight end that can run a post route like that. It's a luxury for the offense. It's an extreme luxury for the quarterback. Always has a great outlet and usually able to come up with a nice play down the middle of the field. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. Steps away to his left. He finds his man complete. That's Munoz. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. 694, 734, Express. Now Carr. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Right now. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Carr. And it's caught. Touchdown. Darren Waller with a touchdown grab for Derek Carr. And the Raiders are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. On second and 11 now. Young, a quick pass to Cup. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
You really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Back to Dickerson here on second down. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll run now with Dickerson. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is taken at the 15. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First and 10, it's Patterson. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a time touchdown. Here's first and 10. 618. Here's Carr to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try a mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings them up second and ten. They'll look to throw here. That's caught by the Hall of Famer, Casper. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Card out of throw. That's complete. He's got Lynch out of the backfield. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Raiders. Marshawn Lynch. 30 yards, and the Raiders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Takes it at the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go now. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Second and 11. Here's Steve Young. And going deep for Hill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. It's Young on first down. 
A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This entire defensive unit, Charles, they've really put in a good shift tonight, so to speak. I like how you phrased that. This has been a good shift. They punched the clock the entire evening. Ought to have shirts that have their names on them in the front to let them know these are blue-collar workers who are getting it done. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Young to throw. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And I know they would have loved to have had a touchdown there to give them some cushion. But now, kick the field goal. Get the lead, let your defense bring you home. Show some faith in those guys on the other side of the ball. Butker's kick here is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know the... And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Hand off running left, Patterson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Carr. And this one's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Car to throw. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Carr. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Takes it at the 7. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Young. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were.